Thank you so much, Treasure Fiona Ma. It's uh, you know great seeing you again. Uh, it was my honor, you know, working with you in the state assembly. Uh, we were there, you know, all six years together. Uh, we both uh, did our terms and now doing different things. Uh, still for California. Uh, I now work for the Moulton Miguel Water District because uh, I grew up in the Central Valley and have always cared about water. And I know you've traveled the state. Uh, greatly and know quite a bit yourself about water in California. Uh, before we get into the uh, more serious issues on water, give us a little bit of background about uh, who you are and how you got here, Fiona. Sure, uh, so I am a CPA by training, uh, worked for Ernst & Winnie in the real estate tax group, left after five years, became the president of a small business association, and that's how I got my interest uh, in public services, really trying to represent more women and minority uh, small local businesses. Uh, then I got elected to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors from 2002 to 2006. And because San Francisco owns Hetch Hetchy, uh, I understand how precious uh, our water system is and um, asked to sit on the ABAG Water Committee during my four years. So again, working with the region on regional water issues. Uh, then in 2006 to 2012, when we served, obviously we encountered a, a drought and we went through um, numerous bond exercises to put uh, various bonds uh, on the state initiative. And I also sat on the agriculture committee and I learned very quickly that I knew nothing about right. agriculture growing up on Long Island uh, and then moving to San Francisco, I thought food came from Safeway, honestly. And a hundred tours later, uh, I really understand uh, what the tensions are uh, between our farmers and our, our urban dwellers. And also uh, now as the state treasurer, I oversee two affordable housing financing committees, one that allocates the bonds, the other, the tax credits, the nine and 4% tax credits that uh, we're really trying to build more affordable housing during this time, but that also requires water and water infrastructure. And as you know, we have thousands of different water agencies. I'm kind of amazed that, you know, in our state where we have maybe right. four major uh, utility companies here in California, we still have uh, a thousand uh, water districts and each one is a little bit different the way it's set up and some have wells and some don't. Um, so it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing uh, issue and I understand why you are uh, doing what you're doing because water is uh, extremely important. Also at the state treasurer's office, I issue a number of the bonds for the various uh, water and parks and acts uh, the initiatives that were passed uh, over the years. And I'll just give you an example this year. Uh, March 11th, uh, we, um, we refunded some bonds that will go to the Water Quality Supply and Infrastructure Improvement Act of 2014. Uh, then I also um, funded, refunded more bonds for the California Clean Water, Clean Air, Safe Neighborhood Parks and Coastal Protection Act of 2014. Uh, 18 as well as 2002. So we're still funding all the initiatives. And then most recently uh, just sold one point, uh, about a billion dollars in revenue bonds for the Department of Water Resources for all sorts of different water uh, bonds. So I'm still in the water business, so to speak. So happy to be here with you. Right, no, very, no that, 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 that's amazing. Uh, yeah, this year uh, really two groups joined for the conference you know, online uh, sustained well in California Data Collaborative. Uh, but there's a variety of organizations, like Metropolitan Water District, Southern California, Moulton okay. Miguel Water District, you know, where I work, and numerous others that put this conference on together. Uh, so we're pleased to have you uh, online with us. Uh, we have uh, record uh, RSVPs for the, for the conference, uh, over 250, I think, where we're at now. And uh, you know, having folks from the state level is important. A lot of our members that attend this conference, they're from the public sector, but also the private sector. And a lot of what we're about is gathering data and having organizations actually share data 
as you know, a lot of groups don't like to share their data either because of competitive advantage or, you know, fear that the data will be used against them. And so this is an effort through the California Data Collaborative to bring folks together in a neutral way to inform policymakers. And so one, one question I know many of us have is, uh, what's the best way for public and private sector folks to get innovative, uh, you know, water or technology solutions to to your office, the legislature, and uh, and the governor. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we are very accessible, and um, if you want to call me or have a meeting with me or send us a letter, uh, that is um, also welcome. A lot of the different groups, like you all, um, doing your conferences and inviting us to be part of the table to uh, listen as. Um, lawmakers, CFI, for example, I'm sure you participate in a lot of CFI uh, conferences, so they also specialize in water where there's about 100 uh, different stakeholders around the table that just share best practices. We hear from other states in terms of what they're doing and, and the, the challenges that they're grappling with, but those type of forums are also very important. Yeah, no, that, that, that's amazing. I know a lot of water infrastructure is done by the public sector. What role do you think there is for the private sector to partner with, uh, with government, you know, building you know, water aqueducts, reservoirs, uh, ocean desalination plants, whatever it might be? Yeah, um, so there's obviously uh, a, a great need right now in our budget uh, difficulties uh, to do more public-private partnerships or at least to engage the private sector to step in. Um, working on a you know train project from Victorville to Las Vegas, uh, they're going to use our bond allocation but it's all going to be sold to the private sector and built by the private sector but also utilizing our building trades uh, and some of the you know small businesses that want to uh, do some engineering or construction services. So there's lots of opportunities for the private sector uh, to engage in a lot of these big infrastructure projects. But if they have innovative ideas, we want to hear about it. Uh, you know, the more that we can uh, compile uh, the data, very very important uh, for the legislature. Uh, the easier it is to pass certain bills and also to allocate money through the budget or also through the bond acts for the projects that are very, very important. And these days, you know, California, we're the fifth largest economy. We've got very creative people that are out there that want to be part of the solution. So we just need to continue to communicate uh, and also, right, with elected officials, you know, let us know what it is you're working on, what type of problems that you can help us solve, and then partner with us in terms of trying to get the funding or trying to get a bill passed or even get it on the state uh, ballot. Right. And some of these projects take a while. I remember uh, you were the chair of our high speed rail caucus, and many yeah. people wondered whether it was ever going to get built. But you and I know because we travel or drive, and my family. Uh, you know, it's from Wasco and there's a little station there and there's construction going up. I can see the high speed rail, yes. uh, you know, where it's going up and how it's going to grow. I know with respect to water, you know, you know, one state, but, you know, multiple regions, uh, kind of just I'm beginning to, to close out here. Uh, what do you view as some of the major water and environmental challenges in Northern California? Uh, and in Southern California, and how do we all come together so that we're one state, one water? Yeah, so like I said, Northern California, uh, we have our Hetch Hetchy system that um, supplies water to our nine Bay Area counties. Uh, Los Angeles uh, has a little bit um, more uh, um, difficulty accessing water since, you know, some of it's from the Colorado, some of it's from uh, different runoff. Uh, but I do think as we um, come together as a state, water should not be a partisan issue. It should not be a north or a south issue. Uh, water, we all need water. We all want clean drinking water. And the fact that there are some regions here in California that don't have clean drinking water is unbelievable to me uh, in this time and age and the state that we're in. Uh, so we all need to work together. We cannot um, you know, 
compartmentalize. We cannot uh, be greedy about our water system because we all want food that is healthy and fresh. And we, I want it grown here in the state of California. And that means we need to make sure water is available to the farmers. If we are gonna solve our affordable housing crisis, it means that we need to make sure that water infrastructure as well as water access is available for those communities that want to have uh, you know, um, new uh, construction, for example. Um, so again, this should not be a partisan issue. Um, I think we all need to work on it together. And we know in the legislature, uh, the more uh, folks that are at the table uh, coming together, the easier it is to pass the bills through the legislature, get it to the governor's desk, and then later on get the allocation for all the different projects that are out there. Thank you so much. You, you summarized it all very well. And, uh, you know, we also are still facing in the middle of climate change. And so water resilience is a thing that we're going to hear more and more about. That's the theme that we developed for this year's conference, uh, uh, you know, with the water resiliency and solutions theme. So thank you so much, uh, you know, Treasurer Ma, and I will see you around. And uh, we'll keep talking about water, high-speed rail, and, uh, you know, how we keep uh, California the great place. It is. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. See you later.